All right, guys, our next guest is Canberra Raiders star recruit Ryan Sutton. Ryan, how are you this afternoon? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Now, I've got to ask before we start, is it hard for you to understand my accent? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm all good with it. Luckily, at, at Wigan, we had, a, we had a few Aussies, so, you know, coming, coming, over, coming over to Australia, you sort of get to know the ins and outs of the words. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm yeah. all good. You're used to it now. So uh, you just touched on Australia. How's it treating you? Yeah, it's been good. It's been very warm, so that's a good thing. You know, I get asked a lot, are you coping with the weather and, and whatnot? But, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's, um, it's a really good place. You know, you can you can tell why everyone's really good athletes over here because it's, it's warm and, you know, the food's good and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's warm now, mate. I also live in Canberra. Um, and I can confirm yep. the winters, they get very cold. It's going to remind you a lot of home. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Yep. I've, heard, um, I've heard a lot of people say, you know, when it comes to winter over here, it'll re remind me of, of being back home. So, you know, I'm, I'm prepared for it. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it, a, a, few, yeah. a few warm calls, so. Uh, put it this way, when winter rolls around, I don't feel like getting out of bed. So I don't know how you've done it all those years over in England. Um, any nicknames? And have any of your teammates give you a nickname yet? Um, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Really. Back up, back home in England, it was, it was Sutty with a Y. But over here, everyone seems to put an O on the end of everything that they say. Yeah. It was just Sutto. Yeah. I'm like, the well, first, first time I heard it, I was like, what? But um, yeah, it's kind of getting used to it. And I, I know a lot of abbreviated, abbreviated words over here are, are with an O on the end, so I can understand where they're getting it from. Yeah, no doubt that is Aussie slang. And as you said, you're slowly getting used to it. Now, you did touch on the pre-season being very warm over here. Obviously, over in England, it's the complete opposite. It's uh, very cold. So which of the two do you prefer? Yeah. It's a tough one, that, because obviously it is it is very hot over here and and it's the complete opposite back home this time of year. But um, honestly, if, if I had to choose out of the two, I, I'd rather be warm. Uh, we've just lost Ryan there. Um, we'll quickly try to call him back here, guys, and we'll just keep um, the interview rolling. If you guys don't mind just standing around, um, should only take a second or so for us to get Ryan back on the line, and we'll get right on with the interview. Ryan, uh, sorry, we just lost you there, mate. Um, we got you back? Hello? Have we got you back there, Ryan? Hello? Yeah, you've got me back. I don't know what happened then. Sweet. Yeah, just cut out. Um, we'll just keep the interview rolling, man. It was only out there for about 30 seconds. And, um, you know, I kept the crowd entertained with my good looks. So, um, yeah, you were touching on the UK and Australian preseason and which one you prefer. Yeah, I, like I was saying, I, it'd probably be the heat. because Only because you can imagine how, how hard it is getting up while it's freezing cold outside and you're nice and toasty warm in bed. But yeah. um, on the fl on the flip side, you know, this, the preseason has been it's been very tough. You know, obviously, like you say, it's been it's been up to you know mid forties mm -hmm. and getting used to that. It, it, it's pretty tough. But yeah, de definitely, definitely on on, this, on that side, I'd, I'd rather be I'd rather be nice and warm, early days, long days. So yeah, that that'd be me. Get up early and uh, and it'd be warm. Absolutely. So you've come over to Australia, new club, new coach. How have you found it under Ricky Stewart and how has he helped your game as a player? Yeah, it's, it's been really good. Um, yeah, you know, in a lot of ways, he reminds, reminds me a lot of, of the old coach and and it's a, it's a big, it's, that's a big plus because, you know, he, like, he knows what he wants for you. Um, yeah. you know, he knows what to expect from you, but also he knows that, you know, there's a lot of improvement in my game, so... Yeah, it's, it's just it's not just it's not just Ricky as well. It's sort of the background staff as well, like the assistants. We've got Cappy and we've got Whitey as well, who's, who's who's really good. So you know, position specific players. So yeah, it's it's, it's really good. I'm I'm really learning a lot, and you know, hopefully I can I can take it into into the future. And yeah, that, that's yeah. it. Yeah, no doubt. You touched on um, a couple of the coaching staff there. Have any of them sat you down and had a personal message or spoken to you on an area of your game they want you to improve or work on in specific? Uh, um, I think I think it's more it's player driven. Okay. Um, well, it is player driven because you sort of 
we, we, we do clips and that like a lot of clubs do and and we sort of look at our own what we've been doing in training and and seeing what we you know what we we can improve on and there is you know there is little things that individuals have so yeah I think everyone has it it's just everyone's different and you know for me I've got my individual um, the things that I need to improve on and yeah it's it's it's, it's really good because they nail it down to to a few things. Yeah, no doubt. And look, the Canberra Raiders already have a formidable forward pack. A lot of rep stars throughout their squad. Which um, Raiders forwards in particular have helped you grow your game the most since moving here? Um, I reckon, like you said, because you look at you look at the Raiders team, and there is a lot of experience in like you know like Cesar Oliola and just mm. Papali, and you know. Around that middle, it's really good. So probably, probably a lot is them too. You know, watching, watching back in England, you, you can see what, you know, what impact jo- uh, Papali has and and what Sierra has when they come on, on the field. So, you know, probably for me, I, I like to look at what other players do and and sort of, you know, see, see what they do best and see if I can do it because they they played the game for a long time over in the NRL. So it's it's something that I. I really look at and, and mm. see if I can add to my game. You touched on watching footy over in the UK then, and um, also you mentioned Josh Papalu, who's very well known for his Origin performances. I got to ask, how popular is State of Origin in the UK? You know what? It is quite big. Okay. We yeah we we do have to get up early for it. Uh, <laughs> a bit, you know, like I think it's like on at seven o'clock in the morning over in England, but you know everyone buzzes around it because. You know, it's it's a big game because you get all all the best players in the NRL coming, you know, sort of coming together in in one day, and and it's um it's a good event. You know, I wish there was something similar back home. You know, I know there's a, a lot more talent pool over here. I.e. There's a lot more people who play it, hmm. but you know, t- if we could have had something over in England that was somewhat similar, it, it'd have been good. So yeah. yeah, I think it's a it's a very good concept, and and yeah, the people love it back home. Have you ever thought of a concept or how it could work potentially in the Super League? Um, probably they had it a bit a few years ago, and okay. probably before I started, I started playing was Lancashire Yorkshire. Okay. So the Battle of the Roses, it was called. So it's pretty dominant up north rugby league. So it was. It's not obviously not on the not on that scale of of origin, but you know you can you can sort of see where it comes from Yorkshire and Lancashire. It's quite a big rivalry over there, so you know, could have brought that back in. No doubt, you had your first taste of NRL action in uh, the trial games. Sort of, what's something you took out of that personally? And have you noticed anything that's different from the Super League to the NRL so far? Um, yeah, well, there's an obvious difference is is the two referee system. Okay, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a difference. Um, probably speeds up the rock. Which well, it does speed up the rook. You know, you, there's no there's no messing about in the rook. Also, that was a big one for me was the play of the ball. Um, yeah. You know, very the very strict on, you know, foot on the ball. You know, you get away with it a bit in the Super League, I feel. Okay. But um, but yeah, so for, probably probably the actual just the pace of the rook and and just you know overall bigger bodies would probably be would be another one as well. But yeah, it was a, it was a great. It was a great chance to get out there and, and blow some cobwebs off, but you know there's a lot of hard work now going going up to round one. Mm, you touched on some uh, bigger bodies over here. Have you had to pack any weight on since coming to the NRL? Um, yeah, there's. Um, I was a bit unlucky because like, I come over and I was I was a bit light. I didn't I didn't realise the heat had have such an effect on me as in yeah. calories, you know, burning calories and stuff. So yeah, I've I've, I've tried it tried to put some weight on solely but at the same time it's I'm um I, I like to be a bit more mobile a bit, try and get a bit more minutes out so I don't want to be too heavy so mm. there's a bit of yes and a bit of no so mm. gaining that weight I have to imagine there was a couple cheeky cheat meals what um local restaurants have you checked out in the area um please tell sure. me Grace not, not these. yeah <laughs> you yeah, have? Oh, yeah okay. that, that, that's been yeah because uh Elliot, Elliot's took me that a few times and yeah. um, there's, a, there's a few there's a few good places in in, uh, in Canberra I like the sushi here the sushi is really good yep um, you don't get a lot you get the occasional ones back on but yeah. really really good sushi here um, 
because I'm a local at the lighthouse, so I seem to go there for for a bit of pub, I call it, we call it pub grub back home. Mm. Well, all um, this talk but, of food yeah. is make, making me quite hungry, but before we move on, I've got to ask. Please tell me you've also yeah. tried yarra kebabs. Was that? Please, <laughs> is, uh, that a, is that an answer? Oh, uh, yarra kebabs. It's um, so yarra lumla kebabs. I'm just going to go on the record yeah. now and, and give them a shout out, Ryan. They are the best kebabs you will ever taste in your life, and um, I, I recommend if, if there is a cheat meal throughout the season, uh, that that's yeah. where it is. Oh, you lost any address then? I'll, I'll definitely have to try it. No worries. All right, last question before we let you go. What is your main focus or your main goal heading into the 2019 season? What's something you want to be able to look back on this year and go, boy, I'm really proud I was able to achieve that? Yeah, I think probably, probably for myself would be, to, you know, to, to get better, at the, like you said, to get better at the little things and, and sort of, well, going back on myself there is probably... Make my debut. Sounds 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 a bit, you know, a bit rational. But that that's that's a goal over here, and you know, I want to want to prove myself. I want to I want to be the best I can I can be. You know, because the reason for coming over here was to better myself. And you know, if I if I can do if I can do that, I feel like I'm doing that already. I feel like I'm getting better in training. So I'll just take it take baby steps, and yeah, hopefully look to put my hand up for that um, for that round one and. You know, train as hard as I can in these next few weeks leading up to it. Hundred percent. You did touch on earlier. You spoke about noticing the difference. Is the little one percent is especially around the ruck in that area? And um, look, you don't have to ask because you've obviously already noticed that NRL. There's there's a lot of uh, little one percenters that really make up um, make up the game. Yeah, yeah. It's um, like you say. There's, there's, you can't, have, you can't have a minute off, or you can't have a second off. You, you've always got to be on the ball because the rookie is so fast, and you know you, you've got to find ways of, of slow, slowing the rook down as well. But you know, not giving away penalties. So, mm. you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of um, good things that's, that's um, helping my game over here. So, yeah, I've just got to keep, keep going and, and keep training well, and hopefully, you know, I'll, I'll be there around one. No doubt. Well, all the best for the upcoming season, Ryan. Thank you very much for coming on. Yes. No, thank you. Cheers.